channel if you are new here my name is Daria I'm an artist and I paint on clothes and this is my mannequin bread my work body and this is a new video of the project artist versus brand project about changing brands and their most popular printed clothes and in this video I'm changing brand Gucci and these brands this is tiger piggyback design Gucci has bomber jackets with side design and also sweaters and to speak honestly, I don't like it. First of all, it's not even a good idea. They took this print from Tibetan rugs. And Tiger in this pose looks so weird and ugly. And it kind of reminds me about these dead animals rugs. And by the way, not only Gucci has such animal design, but also Kenzo and Dolce Gabbana and I just can't stand the ugliness. What's wrong with these animals' faces and legs? And I just feel that I need to save fashion industry from all these dead, ugly animals. So I decided to paint tiger on this blue hoodie. And my tiger will move and roar. And my tiger will be full of life. And of course, my tiger will be very artistic. So, let's begin. Here is a sketch I drew and I will place tiger same way as on Gucci jacket but just my tiger will be alive, my tiger will move. Then as always first I sketch tiger with white paint on the hoodie and then I will cover it with white paint to create an undercoat and to cover the blue color of hoodie. And white paint is the paint I use the most because I always need it when I create an undercoat on the colorful or black clothes. So if you want to paint on clothes, I recommend you to buy many tints of white paint. And what I love about Gucci jacket is color combination. This blue color of jacket and yellow color of tiger. So especially for this video, I found this hoodie uh, in blue color to paint the yellow tiger on it. Okay, undercoat is finished and as you can see I didn't try to cover it completely with white paint and it's still kind of this light blue color, but it's okay, it's enough. And now I can wait an hour to let it dry or I can use a hair dryer to dry it. And I don't want to wait. And now I sketch eyes, nose, mouth of tiger with black paint. And for painting tiger I will use this cinnamon color and I will mix it with yellow color and also to the shadows I will add dark brown color. And to paint tiger actually it's not so hard, I mean for the artist, because tiger has a pattern so it's not so hard to make it look like a tiger. And for fur I will just use two shades of brown, cinnamon and dark brown and yellow and wi white color for the white part of the fur and black color for the stripes. And for the eyes I will use green color, I will mix it with yellow and for the tongue I will use red and white color. And brand Gucci I love to challenge the most because it is one of the most popular brands now and many celebrities love Gucci and you can see Gucci clothes on many music videos and Gucci clothes are so expensive like you can find a t-shirt cheaper than $500 and of course I can't afford Gucci now one t-shirt costs more than a salary of a worker in the country I live but I can afford good quality basic t-shirt or switch shirt or hoodie and I have a talent to paint on clothes so I can change Gucci and it's so fun and also Gucci has many designs with animals and I love to paint animals especially snakes you know Gucci has this snake design coral snake and I painted coral snake on a buttons up shirt and if you wish to watch this video I will put the link to the description below The 
and my tiger came to life and now I will just paint its paws and back I will paint a couple of stripes on its back And the problem with all these animal prints on clothes, with all the lions and tigers and panthers, that on printed clothes you can't feel the fears of an animal, the power, the roar, the movement, you just can't feel it. But you can express it by painting on clothes. So you just can compare printed clothes with animals and hand paint clothes with animals. And this tiger design is my second tiger design inspired by Gucci Tigers. First one is my first YouTube video, first video of the project Artist vs Brand. And I painted Roaring Tiger and Roses. Check it out. I will put the link to the video in the description below. Painting of tiger is finished and now it's time to make it smooth because it's not moving now. So I will use big fat brush and red color fabric paint and I'll create brush strokes this way in the direction of its movement. And this background, this brush strokes, complete design for me because without it I just feel that this artwork isn't finished yet and also it makes design look more artistic. Also, I spread the red paint. And painting is finished! What do you think about this hoodie? Write me your thoughts in the comments below. Which tiger do you like the most? Gucci tiger or my tiger? And hit the like button, support my art. And if you are new in here, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And hope to see you on the next video. Question is art. Bye bye.